I hope you guys are excelling today. I hope you've been putting in this work. All right, Excel Excels. Let's just jump right into this one, guys. We ain't got no time to waste. We got to be about this. We got to, I got to spread the word on this one. Straight up. I'm tired of seeing this. I'm tired of seeing guys have no backbone. Literally, they're walking around like pancakes, like their backs, they have spineless, like a fish. I don't know, like a snake. It's crazy. Stop being so nice to everyone. Stop being nice, especially in your relationships. Ooh, I see this everywhere nowadays, especially in today's world, the modern world, the modern dating world, especially. Guys do not have backbones and this will ruin it. This will ruin your relationship. I'm going to explain why in a second, all right? But if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. Follow the IG. Follow the Twitter. Check out the links in the description. Let's go. Let's not waste a second, guys. I ain't got no time to lose, and I hope you guys ain't got no time to lose either. All right? Because on this channel, we keep excelling. No excuses. We work, and we going hard. The New Year's coming up. You don't have to wait to a New Year to keep going hard. You got to just be putting in this work. Have dedication. Perseverance determination. It's what it takes to become a high value man, to have strength, to stick to your guns. All right. So stop being so nice in your relationships, guys. It is frustrating to see that you guys get taken advantage. You guys get taken advantage every single day because you're so nice. You have no backbone to say no. Okay. When you, you know, when you let it, it's okay to be nice here and there when people deserve it. All right. But you can't just be nice to just everyone. There's a season for everything. So when you learn to just, you know, have discernment and be stern in your answers and actually fall through with them and don't break your word. Guys, I see guys, you know, give out the word, but they will break them. Do not do this. That These are traits of a weak man. If a man is not, cannot hold up, own up to his word, the man is useless. All right, guys, women need, especially in this dating world, they go through emotional roller coasters every day. They could be feeling very good at one second and the next they could be pissed off at you because you didn't do something or whatever. All right, but you got to put your foot down. You got to let it be known that you're not a player to be messed with. All right, you hold your own. You ain't about to tolerate any BS. Straight up, you guys will agree to everything she says. You know, if she says she wants to watch Grey's Anatomy or she wants to watch the Squid Games and you're tired of watching that, you don't even want to watch a rerun of it, let it be known. Especially if it's at your house, your apartment, with your TV, with your time, let it be known. I'm not trying to do that. If you're not trying to do that, you want to watch what you want to watch. Try to find something you can both watch and both enjoy. But if one of you, like, if, especially if you're not going to enjoy it, then hey, phew, let it be known that, hey, th this is what I like. And she's going to respect you even more for that, bro. Straight up. She's going to respect you more because you had a backbone to tell her and let her know what it is. <laughs> this is what it's going to be. This is what it's finna going to be. You can get with the program or you can get lost. This is the kind of mindset you need to have. Take it or leave it. Too many guys have... Don't have an abundant mindset, okay? You guys are stuck with scare. You guys are on scarcity mode. You guys are like, oh, these are my last resources. Oh, I can't get a girl better because you don't think highly of yourself. A lot of men, 90% of guys do not think highly of themselves because they don't apply work every day. But on this channel, when you watch me and you watch and you hear what I preach, guys, I guarantee you, you're, you're not somebody to be reckoned with, all right? You're a man who got no time to waste. You're about what you got to do. All right, so a woman needs a rock, guys. She needs a solid foundation. You got to be that rock for her. Think about it. A woman's going to come to you with her problems. She, she wants to come to, to, you know, vent out to the man, and the man will hear her out. And then as your role as a man, and you got to love this too, as, you know, when you're in the dating scene, you got to love to be the guy, okay, you know, She's coming to me with a problem and you can solve it. Solve it for her. She's going to respect you even more. Because not a lot of guys can solve her problems, especially in the modern world, whether it's financially, whether it's, you know, solving an emotional problem for her. And I'm not saying go jump through the hoops, you know, bend over backwards for the chick. 
But I'm saying if you're able to do it, you know, and it's like comes comes to you with some ease, then hey, why not do it? Be the solid foundation. Now put put it in her shoes. She don't want to hear the guy. She don't want to hear her man coming to her. Oh, babe, I lost my job. I can't do nothing, right? She don't want to hear that. That that's turning her off, bro. Because she needs a man that's gonna provide and protect her. These are her natural instincts, bro. Those are her natural instincts. She is thinking about, okay, can this guy protect me? Can this guy provide for me? And as a high value man, you should be able to do that. And if you aren't, if you if you can't do that right now, then you shouldn't even be dating, in my opinion. Okay, keep building yourself up. Get the car you want. Save up for that. Learn how to invest. Create different financial streams of revenue. Get the house or apartment you've been striving for. Maybe you're living in the trap right now. You're trying to get out. I, I don't know everyone's situation, but let's say that's your situation, man. Hey, I know a lot of us feel like giving up our moments. Don't give up, dog. There was times when I thought I was never going to get out of a situation, but I kept applying the pressure. I kept putting in the work. When you apply the pressure, guys, diamonds are a result of it. So when I applied that pressure and I didn't give up, even the days I was tired, the days I grew weary, the days I was doubting myself, it finally came to me. Now I have the confidence to know, okay, if I keep applying pressure, more and better positive outcomes are going to come my way. I'm telling you guys, this time, I know there's someone watching this who feels like giving up. Do not give up. You have to be a rock. You have to follow through on what you say and what you talk about. Okay, if you preach something, be about it. Should I, if you say you're going to do something, be a man of your word and follow through on your word. Otherwise, you're just a liar. Don't lie to yourself. That's the worst person you can lie to is yourself. Because then you're going to just disappoint yourself. And that's just going to ruin your confidence. That's just going to put your self-esteem downhill. And the down rule, downhill trend is going to be the bear market, man. You don't want it going down in that slant. You want it to be a bull market where it's rising up. Your confidence is boosting up. Stop being so nice to everyone, man. Okay, if you're nice to everyone, no, no one can, you know, rely on you to take you serious. They're gonna be like, okay, this is the pushover guy who I know who I could push over. I could joke about, make fun of him in his face, and he's just gonna tolerate it because he ain't got no backbone. He's a snake slithering around. He ain't got no backbone. All right, you need to be a strong lion. When you look in the mirror, you see a lion. You see strength. You see honor, courage, confidence. You don't care. When a lion goes out and needs to go get, you know, hunt his prey, he doesn't think second. He doesn't, you know, contemplate about it. He just does things. He just goes after what's for him. All right. This channel for me, guys, I'm about to hit a thousand subs, man. And shout out to all my subscribers out there. I appreciate every single one of you guys. You guys are the world to me. Straight up. I love making these videos for you guys. It makes me feel better. And it makes me sleep better at night knowing that I'm helping you guys out. When you guys hit me up for consultations, I love it. I love hearing, you know, how I can help fix your problems, give you my input on how you could become a better man. I, I love it, guys. I want to see you guys win. I don't want to see no man depressed out here. I don't want to see no man doubt himself, have no confidence. I want to help every single one of you guys who tunes in and watches me. This is what this channel is about. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, show a brother some love, man. I can use some love. Hit the likes. Get this video out in the algorithm. You guys need to stop being so nice, okay? When someone deserves to be nice, though, let, let's say you're, you're in a relationship, though. Then there's a balance to everything. There's a yin and there's a yang, all right? So there's a balance to this. You can't just be, you know, a jerk to your freaking girlfriend every single day, slamming doors on her, you know, cursing her out and all that. I'm not saying don't do all that, okay? If she's, you know, acting right, she's doing what she needs to do as a woman to be, you know, your, your loyal woman, who respects herself for you, respects herself enough to, you know, maybe delete her social media for you. She dresses more modest for you. She cooks and cleans. For, then, yeah, you know, treat her more, you know, you still need to be the rock for her. You can't be, you know, pushover because once she senses a sign of weakness, she's going to try to use it against you. No signs of weakness, guys. But let, let's say she's doing all this. Okay, then it's cool to take her out to like, you know, a dinner day or get her maybe like some chocolate or something now and then you can't do it every single time because women will get used to things if you keep giving her chocolate and flowers every day she's gonna get used to it it's gonna come like second nature to her where she won't even appreciate it anymore guys 
So you gotta learn how to be not, not so of a nice guy right there in that aspect, okay? When it comes to opportunities you're searching for, let's say you're trying to land a job, okay? And you've been trying to talk to your boss about something. Like, hey man, let it be known. Don't don't be afraid to push over it and just be hesitant to speak on how and what you feel. Like if you feel like you deserve that job, let your boss or supervisor know. Like yo, you see me putting this work, put in this work every day. Come on, man, you gotta give me a shot. I'm not gonna let you down. You need you need to come with this kind of confidence too. I'm telling you guys, abundance can come your way, guys. I'm telling you, don't be Mister Nice Guy anymore. When you're Mr. Nice Guy, you just can't be taken serious. You're just going to be a joke to everyone. You're the Joker. And I'm not talking about the Batman Joker. I'm talking about like the Joker, like, 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 like a jest. <laughs> Straight up. Don't be the, the goofy guy. Okay, You want people to take you serious, right? So hold yourself on that standard too. The only way other people are going to take you serious in that way is if you hold yourself to that standard. Straight up, guys. I see guys, you know, being so nice to girls on them, cut in front of them, in front of lines to go places. No, man. Just because she's a woman, does that does that justify her to get everything she wants? Uh, every other guy is giving her what she wants. So you need to also be that guy to be like, no, I'm going to stand out, be different. Learn how to be like, oh, hey, you know what? <laughs> you can't come in front of me. I waited here patiently. Just because you're a girl, you shouldn't care. Okay, maybe she got a fat booty too, pretty face. Oh, well, who cares? There's another one out there. So why would you stress over, you know, someone who's trying to take advantage of you? No, don't let no one run over you. Never let that happen to you guys. I'm telling you, be different. Because everyone in this modern world, everyone wants to be so nice. We live in a weak society, guys. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Learn to have your own backbone. Learn how to say no. Learn how to be stern with your answers. Learn to tell people how it is clear cut truth. You're cutthroat with everything. Don't waste nobody's time, guys. These are, you know, it may seem like that's not being nice. I think that's actually being nice. I think not, you know, being straight up to the point. You're not wasting no one's time. And you're letting your intentions be known. So why would, how, how is that being bad? You're just, you know, you're saving them time and energy because you want that upon yourself. You want people to treat you in that aspect. Hey, just come to me with straight facts and points and let's move on. All right. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, follow the IG, follow the Twitter. Check out my links in the description, guys. Let's get let's get let's get the subs up, guys. Hit the like button. I want you to comment and how you're gonna improve being more stern, guys. Leave that in the comments, man. We gotta get this video out to the algorithms. Too many guys are losing out here. Let's keep excelling every day. I want to see you guys win. Let's excel, man. It's how it excels. I'm out.